this weather forecast. Well, good morning. After our absolutely beautiful Monday, we've already seen some pretty quick change today. The cloud cover making a comeback and some showers already beginning to push through. And don't be surprised if later there's a rumble of thunder or two. But how about a step outside? Here in Lee the ground is wet from some showers that came through not too long ago, but a little bit of a break right now. The cloud cover, though, really not going anywhere as we go through this afternoon. It's going to be a little bit of a gloomy and just a little bit of a soggy day with this rain coming through. And here's radar. There's the showers as they push through. Now, because we're getting these showers late this morning, it is going to sort of sputter that thunderstorm activity for later on today. So still a rumble of thunder in the forecast, but it's not really going to be anything widespread. Just some light to moderate rain showers for the rest of today. And notice back off the lakes, there's actually a few snow showers trying to sneak in. Now, I wouldn't rule out a couple of flurries as cooler air comes back in behind this front because we have the cooler air over top of the warmer lake water. So do not be surprised to see that later on. Once this front goes through, It'll be the cooler air taking over, and something we'll talk about in a second, the wind is going to pick up as well. Now, temperatures are in the 40s and right around 50. Wilkes-Barre and Scranton, 50. Mount Pocono, 44. Pottsville, 46. Sealands Grove, we're at 48. But let's go ahead and get a wider view of the temperatures and take a look at the colder air that will start to work its way back in. It's much more noticeable up in the Great Lakes. Detroit at 40. Chicago at 42. It's not a drastic difference, but it is going to be noticeable, especially overnight tonight and into tomorrow. The next 12 hours, the wind will quickly pick up as that front goes through to around 10 to 25 miles per hour. Occasionally, it will gust near and even over 30 miles per hour. And just keep in mind, that lake effect flurry or snow shower, not completely out of the cards for later on today, and that thunderstorm over about the next two hours not ruled out as well. But by tomorrow, we do get some sunshine back. It's just a cooler day all around. Thursday comes around, and we'll toss in a shower, both of the rain, maybe even the snow variety on Thursday until the warmer air starts to take back over. Then that's going to end up continuing through Friday morning, and then by the afternoon, that system will scoot on out of here, and we'll try to get some sunshine late Friday. 54 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. The wind will be picking up. Scattered showers still won't rule out that thunderstorm as we go through this afternoon. We're down to 28 tonight. The clouds break. It's cold. It's still breezy. The wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. 50 tomorrow. We get some good sunshine back. Thursday and Friday looking for that rain to come in. Late Thursday, early Friday, second half of Friday, things will dry out. That will be in the upper 50s. Saturday looking for a little rain. Same thing on Sunday. There's some timing issues with that next system for the weekend, so you'll want to check back as we iron out the exact timing on that for our weekend. Mid-upper 50s both days. Monday clouds are back and an isolated shower. And don't forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. That can always be downloaded on your phones and tablets. The forecast is always available for you at PA Homepage. Dot com. So hopefully, Kelly, this past weekend with some of the snow that some of us saw, you know, we kind of learned if we did any early planting, we need to be ready for it. And tonight with temperatures in the 20s, you have to be ready. Yeah, maybe uh, cover some of those plants if you do uh, have them out. And if you're not, you haven't uh, quite started gardening yet, maybe uh, wait a couple more days. Stefano, thanks. We're well, coming up.